Welcome back everyone. Well, Santa arrived at Parkdale Mall last week, but now he's asking for your help. Beaumont Home Instead has a program for you to be Santa to a senior. Today we have Charlie Holder from the Beaumont Home uh, Instead. Charlie, thank you so much for being here. This is like a great um, initiative to have going on. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so we began this program back in 2003. We're on our 19th year um, and it just blossomed into this magnificent program for Southeast Texas that now we provide all the Meals on Wheels recipients for our hard and orange in Jefferson counties, including about 27 nursing homes uh, that these gifts go to. And we've been providing this service now uh, since 2003, and we're in about 75 locations, retail locations, and this is what it looks like when you come into the store, buy a tree, and then they'll have these ornaments on there to take off and you can purchase a gift and bring it back to the store. That's incredible. And you know, you've been doing this, like you said, 19 years. What are some of the emotions that you've seen from the seniors? You know, it's it's uh, a myriad of different, different uh, experiences from sad to happy. I mean, we've had people, a gentleman that asked for a bike and the law office bought it for him and brought it to him and asked him why he wanted the bike. And he said, the pharmacy's down there, the family took my keys, you know, so we have those kind of stories all the way to people just asking for money for, you know, their, their prescriptions. I mean, the difference in this program versus kids is these folks want a really small item. A lot of times they just want a blanket. They just want a pair of slippers. Um, they just want some new lotion, you know, or, or something like that, something very simple. And so a lot of the, the folks that, per, that uh, are participating in this, families have now done this for years, um, it's a way for them to give back and it's such a small you know way to give back and with such a big need what is the turnout like do you have seniors that um, are that don't get picked how does what has that experience been like so all of the uh, meals on wheels recipients they all get us a, a slip uh, with their meal uh, early in November mm -hmm. that ask them what they would like for Christmas and then we have meal congregate sites for the meals on wheels they ask the same thing and then this goes out through all the 20 seven facilities, the nursing homes in the area, um, and they get asked the same thing. And so those all come back to us, and then the trees go up, and the tags like this right here are on there, and it would have you know the person's information and what they're asking for, and you put it back on that tree, with, or you bring it back to the store with the gift, and uh, then it gets brought to that facility. Okay, and so a, a lot of the need gets met within the community, right? Well, I don't know that we've had a year yet that we haven't fulfilled every need. We Every year we always have a surplus of gifts that come in after Christmas because people forget that they bought the gift or whatever. So that gets stored with the Meals on Wheels at their location. And then anybody that's lacking where their home is, you know, five short or 20 short, we have money that gets donated to um, to the Mills on Wheels for this project, and that goes out and purchases. So I don't know that we ever have any folks left behind, at least that we know of. All right, real quick, for anybody that's on the fence about this, about joining and helping out in the program, what would you say to them? I would say, um, in my experience, in my own backyard, bringing gifts with my family, um, I experienced several families, or f several individuals, rather, that we brought the gifts to that had not even been told Merry Christmas on Christmas evening or had a hug or a handshake. These are people in our backyard that you would never think that we have people here locally that doesn't even get a phone call to tell them Merry Christmas. And so this is what this means to our community. Absolutely, oh, so so needed. Well, thank you again for being here, Charlie. We really appreciate you. Now, if you do want to donate or you'd like to find a tree to be a Santa to a senior, you can always visit our website at 12newsnow.com. We have a list of places around Southeast Texas that have them. Thanks again, Charlie. Thanks.